Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Civil Structures. We study today about the statically determinant and indeterminant structure for trusses. Okay. Uh, in previous lecture, I uh, told you about the definition and the formula for statically determinant and indeterminate how we can determine for beam and other um, elements uh, now today let's see the definition for or we, uh, the formula for truss static indeterminacy uh, which you can define by external indeterminacy internal indeterminacy in, in if any type of releases you have in the structure okay Again, same as external indeterminacy formula will be give you the total unknowns minus number of static equilibrium equation and if it is my 2D structure then it will be 3 ok so I can say that the formula for DE will be R minus 3 for 2D structures ok now for DI internal determinacy for trusses we have formula M plus Static equilibrium and here it is 2D for 3 minus 2J where your M is equal to number of members. What is 3 here? Static equilibrium equation and J is equal to number of joints. Okay. So, uh, let's see this with uh, different, different truss. Okay. Let me just draw with first truss. You can see this truss diagram ok now let's calculate d as in external indeterminacy you can see uh, I have provided hinge at one side and second roller at other side so hinge will give you two support reactions and roller will give you one so eventually it will be three so if it is r minus three and here my small r as in um, total unknowns r 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. Uh, let's talk for di m plus 3 minus 2j where your members let's calculate the number of members 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10. Okay, so we have total 10 number of members plus 3 minus how many joints do we have 1 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 number of joints we have and it will be 6 so total will be 13 minus 12 is equal to 1 we don't have any hinges you can see so the finally ds will be 0 plus 1 sorry 0 plus 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 so I can say that my structure is statically indeterminant up to first degree ok now let's take uh, another truss
so this is one another type of truss you can see here and uh, again i am providing here one hinge and other is roller okay so hinge will give you two support reaction and hinge will give you one uh, sorry roller will give you one reaction so your d will be r minus 3 here 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 okay now for um, d i m plus 3 minus 2 j how many uh, members 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so 7 members plus 3 minus how many joints do we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 so it is 5 and the final answer is 10 minus 10 is equal to 0 we don't have any releases and 0 plus 0 minus 0 so I can say my structure is statically determinant okay now similarly take uh, next one now this is one another truss and um, we are, again we have to calculate for the same so what is our DE R minus 3 same as the previous one 3 minus 3 it is 0 about DI M plus 3 minus 2J how many members do we have 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 7 and 8. 8 plus 3 minus joint will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay. Stand and it will be 1. I don't have any releases. So finally the DS will be statically indeterminant at first degree. This is like okay now let's see the next one okay this is our uh, another truss okay now you can see here i have given hinge here so here it is two uh, reactions here it is also give you one reaction and here it also give you two reactions so how many reactions we have one two three four five so it is um, five minus three so external indeterminacy is two how many members we have three members three plus three minus joint will be one two three and four okay so final answer is it is minus 2 we don't have any type of releases here and now let's finally calculate 2 minus 2 plus r is equal to 0 so by this structure is statically determinant